Life Cycles of the Kangaroo and the Platypus, a research project by Stephanie Muskrat. Kangaroos are mammals classified as marsupials. A marsupial is an animal who raises their, fur, their babies inside furry pouches or pockets on their belly. Notice the baby kangaroo, which is called a joey, peeking out of its mama's pouch in the photo. As part of the mammal family, kangaroos have hair, in this case fur, warm blood, a backbone, and they produce milk to feed their babies. Kangaroos are indigenous to Australia and can be found in the arid interior grasslands known as the outback. Because of the hot temperatures they live in, kangaroos can regulate their body to maintain water when they are in drought-like conditions. They can even become infertile if their body is depleted of water, and then produce offspring again when water becomes available. Kangaroos are herb herbivores, and they spend the cool hours of the day rummaging for grasses and other species of plant. Some are so tough to chew that they wear down the kangaroo's teeth. But that's okay, because they are able to grow new teeth as their old ones wear out. Kangaroos are social creatures that live in large groups known as mobs. Mobs can consist of a do dominant male with several females, a group of bachelor males, or a group of males and females. To attract females, males will box one another to dominate a group. Males will usually have more than one mate, but females will reject other suitors once they have mated. Kangaroos are part of a large population. In fact, females can care for up to three offspring at once, all at different levels of gestation. Pregnancy lasts 31 to 36 days, then a jelly bean sized joey makes its way through the mother's fur to the pouch where it attaches to a teat and remains for a month. It stays within the gestation phase inside the pouch for 190 days and makes its first appearance outside the pouch after 10 months. Kangaroos develop from conception to fully matured in just 2 to 3 years, and they can live for 8 to 12 years in the wild. Author Sue Whiting asks, What has a bill like a duck, a tail like a beaver, and walks low to the ground like a reptile? The answer? the most bizarre creature, the platypus, which is classified as a mammal of the subgroup monotreme, meaning that they're egg-laying. Like the kangaroo, the platypus is indigenous to Australia. As a semi-aquatic mammal, it spends most of its life swimming in cool bodies of freshwater where it hunts for its food. The rubber-like duck bill is able to electrolocate, which means it can sense the electrical fields of other animals. With its eyes closed, it uses its bill to hunt its carnivorous diet, which consists of many small water animals such as worms, insects, crawfish, and beetles. When not in the water, the platypus can be found in burrows on the water banks that they dig with their claws. As a mostly solitary animal, the platypus lives within territories that are four miles wide. These territories can overlap with other males and up to four females. The, platypus, the male platypus will always try to avoid other males, even changing their foraging schedules if it interferes with another male. During mating season, the males become more aggressive and will attack rival males in their territory using the venom found in the spurs on their hind legs. Platypus mating season begins at the end of winter and lasts until early spring. During the mating cycle, adults enter into courtships that can last several weeks. During these courtships, the male will bite the female's tail. If she's not ready to mate, she will flee, but stay in the same feeding area until she is ready to accept him. The male will know he has been accepted because he will attempt to bite the female's tail once again and she will reciprocate by biting his back. The two will then swim in a circle and engage in other activities that may last a few days before they actually mate. Once the female is ready to lay her eggs, she seals herself inside her burrow. 
platypuses usually produce two eggs, which they then incubate for 10 days between their stomach and their tail. After the babies hatch, they nurse from milk that secretes out of glands on the mother's stomach rather than teats. Within three to four months, the baby can swim on its own and it leaves the mother. Platypuses can live in the wild for up to 12 years and are rapidly becoming distinct. extinct.